We are at Lolo's Seafood Shack, and in front of us, we've got quite an array of steamed seafood. And so we're going to be fittingly talking about steamed seafood. But what does that even mean, to steam your seafood? You get the, the true flavor of, of, of the seafood from steaming, because all the juices stay in, all the, the, the sweetness of the fish or shellfish you're, you're mm -hmm. cooking, keep all, everything uh, moist and juicy. What are the types of seafood that you think work particularly well for steaming? Uh, shrimp, uh, the, the shrimps are, are amazing. Snow crabs, because all everything just, just are, is within the shell. The halibut is a great fish, and salmon is a great fish to, to steam. Mm -hmm. When you talk about cooking a regular fish, how is that different from steaming something like a crab? Uh, a, a fish, you just have to be a little more careful and mm. put it in a basket so you can remove it easily from the steamer. Right. And that, um, the, the shrimp, you could just drop it in and scoop it out with a spoon or a crab. Right. Yeah. And what are some of the secrets for steaming? Because I think for a lot of people, you know, if they leave the top open, they might dry it out. Like, what do you think are the most important key elements to someone getting started steaming at home? The first thing is the, the broth or the stock that you're going to steam with. Um, you can flavor it with lemon, uh, Old Bay. Once you drop it in the pot, you have to uh, uh, seal the pot. Mm. A, a good cover for a, a, a good pot with a good cover is very important mm. to keep it sealed. And do you want to keep it sealed the whole time? Like, don't go into temptation to, like, peek in? It, it takes <laughs> maybe five to seven minutes to steam something. It steam mm. actually really quickly because right. steam is it's, uh, the strongest heat that you could apply to it. The snow crab steam for seven minutes. The shrimps steam for four minutes. So it's just trial and error. Yeah, and a piece of fish would take about seven, probably ten minutes the most. Keep it closed, it just slows down the whole process. And what about the ratio of water to steam to basket? I mean, I think for a lot of people, you know, it's like you can have too little water or stock, you can have too much. How do you decide the right ratio? Pretty simple. The amount of seafood that you have has to be submerged into the, the broth. And yeah. no more, no less. Yeah. Are there certain seafoods that you think do not steam well? Are there certain things that you should avoid? I don't like to steam like crayfish, crawfish. Mm. I think that would, that, that would get lost in, in, in our smaller shrimp. These are 16, 20 shrimps. We're 16 right. to 20 per pound, so. They are big yeah. shrimp. So if you have really small shrimp, also to be avoided. Yeah. So you're going to make something for us today. What are we making? We're going to make uh, pepper shrimp. All right, will you take us into the kitchen and yeah. show us? Let's go. All right. Now we're back in the kitchen at Lolo's and we're going to uh, cook the steam pot shrimp. Here we have a pot of water. You could use any uh, pot with a, a cover at a home. Uh, the ingredients to make the broth is Old Bay season, onion, fresh bay leaf. Fresh bay leaf is completely different from dry bay, bay leaf. It lets out more flavor and a squeeze of uh, fresh lemon to season the broth. You don't need salt because the Old Bay has a lot of salt. We let this cook come up and then it's a pound of 16, 20 shrimps. We're gonna drop it in. It's gonna take about uh, four to five minutes to cook and fresh corn, sausage. We use the, find the, the a cover of a bowl is better to cover our wok. The most important thing is when you're taking it out that you're careful with the steam because steam burns. So you just have to let the steam out so the, the water has to constantly be rolling and then for five minutes it'll, it'll, it'll cook perfectly and then you scoop it out. While your shrimp is cooking, I made up some uh, of butter. This is just a, a pong of butter, so half a cup of Old Bay season, and four cloves of crushed garlic. You don't need the whole thing. You could save it for, for other batches. This could make you like six pongs of shrimp, actually. The butter has to be soft and at room temperature, and I melt it, just soft butter. If you melt the butter, it, it separates and it won't come back. It's milk, milk solid and, and oil you have. You want to take it out at least a couple hours before. You turn the flame off and then let the steam escape from the other side of the pot. So be careful, okay. it's hot. And now we're going to fish the shrimp out from the pot. Everything in here except the bay leaf is edible. If you want to eat the onions, hey, why not? See, a little bit of the stock would, would help the butter from breaking. It, it will give, make it into and, and seasoning the butter just a little more. We toss this in, in this flavorful butter, as you could see. Oh, what makes it pepper shrimp is, is cayenne pepper mixed with a little bit of water. You need about a, a two teaspoon of it because cayenne is really spicy and really good for you too. And toss it. And we're gonna plate it up right out of the steam pot. And we finish it with some fresh scallions and lemon. Thanks for watching. This is the black pepper shrimp at Lolo Seafood Shop.